Hello, good evening everybody. This is Eric from KVTV and my apologies for the delay in bringing you this tutorial. Um, as you can see on the screen, uh, we've got uh, basically a map, a very basic road map that I've drawn out. Um, what we're going to do is just draw some splines to trace this map. Um, as you can see we're drawing um, the basically the highway the circular highway around the outside of the road and then we'll go ahead and draw all the internal roads as well including the roundabout as you can tell I'm not going to go in depth of things like how to do splines you, you should know this already um, if, if you've got a plug-in like this you should know how to do splines if not um, please look at a tutorial search for splines um, but you need to do this then we're gonna um, add the city traffic modifier to each of the splines when you do that basically it creates a road you can choose how many lanes what directions reverse the directions so you go through and do that for all of the roads so to do that you'll go to the modifiers list um, and then choose the city traffic modifier you'll notice that there's two modifiers one one is the um, road modifier and the other one is like a, a cross modifier um, one for the junctions so for this one we're just concentrating on the road modifier so yes you could basically choose um, various options as we said before you could um, choose the amount of lanes you can also reverse the direction making it left hand or right hand drive and you could choose the speed for each road we've made the outside 200 kilometers and I think we've stuck with basically 100 kilometers for the rest of the roads the standard default there um, so obviously you could adjust to your specific needs now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and add the junctions for the roads um, as I said before there's two city traffic modifiers um, one is uh, for the roads now what we're going to do is create a rectangular spleen spline um, covering all of the junction so we'll just drag the spline until it um, the rectangle covers the complete junction and we'll do that for all the junctions and then we'll go to the modifier list and obviously with the particular rectangle uh, selected um, you click on the um, city traffic cross modifier and you, it would also give you another set of options for that um, junction so you'll be able to choose whether you have a it's a left turn junction a right turn junction and the speed of that junction as well it's a very simple process for that um you just as i say once you hit that modifier you'll see um it's instantly made your junction the only options you'll have to change is like as i said um left or right turn um and if you want both you just leave both checked so go ahead and do that for all your junctions City Traffic 2 um, has a few features to try and make things um, as realistic as possible. Um, there's options to add a parking space, um, bus stop, traffic lights, even an obstacle. So you like um, if there's roadworks, um, you can put an obstacle modifier uh, uh, some part of the road and then um, you could build like some traffic scene around that like put some cones so the cars would know not to pass on the um obstacle section where there's parking um some cars will stop there a certain time and then drive on just as if they're parking bus stops same thing traffic lights um a little more tricky with the traffic lights um again you'd you'd have to add your own actual objects as traffic lights um the city traffic 2 modifier doesn't add actual uh physical um 
FBX or OBJ object files as traffic lights, you would have to add your own. It's only for signaling purposes to stop the traffic, start the traffic. Um, so you could change the rate of um, the traffic lights by using animated or um, the diagram. I tend to use the diagram one. Um, so go ahead and uh, add in all your parking signs or any obstacles you'd like to do. As I say, like, it, make sure you try and get it in the actual lane that you want that, um, if it's parking, get that parking sign within that specific lane. So s adjust, rotate and scale accordingly. So then we'll go ahead and load in your vehicles. Um, what you want to try and make sure to do is that um, when you're making your vehicles, your Y axis, the, the green arrow, is pointing forward. Yeah, so you want your Y axis pointing forward. Um, it would only work with um, four wheeled vehicle objects or six wheeled vehicle objects. So um, you have to make sure that when you're importing your vehicle, the only uh, objects selected are your, the body of the vehicle and your four wheels. If it's a four wheel vehicle, if it's a six wheel vehicle, the six wheels and the actual body. So that would be seven objects. Okay, it won't let you in. So if you've got an attachment um, that is separate from the body that you want in the vehicle, you'd have to physically um, uh, attach it or weld it to the um, to the body. So it's one complete object and then you have your wheels. You've put your vehicle in, go to utilities, click on city traffic two. Um, make sure all your five objects are selected if it's a four wheel car if it's a six wheel car all your seven objects are selected um, depending on what type of car click car bus or truck uh, our first one is a car so you click setup you'll notice that there's a colored box outside um, click on that and then you go down just be below where it says uh, set up you then go to um, making sure that, that that box that is still selected you enter the number of copies you'd like if it's 30 whether you'd want them to align to the left or right or up and down basically away from your map and you press do copy and you'll see instantly you'll get the number of copied instances of your vehicle so you go ahead and do that for all your other vehicles import all your other various vehicles and um set up your vehicle and do the vehicle copy we've got all our vehicles in our car park set up here um we've got about 150 vehicles go to one of the original vehicles not the instance click on the outside box once that's selected go back to utilities you'll see that there's the option for the motion of the cars you've got start time end time um whatever the length of your animation is you'd want to um adjust that accordingly make sure the actual surface uh, the actual map is selected where it says surface um you see it here ours is called um box zero zero one so enter that as your surface then click on trace once you do that it will create the simulation as you can see here um, we've got a overhead view of our map with the cars on there as we scrub through the timeline you'll see the cars moving so now all you have to do is just uh, set up your cameras basically set up your cameras um, you could put a non-vehicle camera, um, static cameras, and render your scene. And as you can see here, ours is very low quality just for test purposes. Um, I've put a pro optimizer on most of the cars just to reduce the polygon count on the cars. Um, there is nothing basically in the scene apart from the road map itself, the 
instance cars and a few blocks with videos running so ours is a very basic scene um and i've still just rendered it uh, in a, a very low quality setting just for this tutorial purpose um i'll play the original video that we um made for city traffic too so it would give a better quality idea but even that isn't rendered at full qu quality city traffic 2 will draw on your system your processes um so make sure you've got a hefty computer uh, to, to handle the processing so many uses for it really as i say um could use it for architectural purposes uh you could use it to recreate an existing um scene somewhere um existing location you could use it to um project traffic for um new layouts um new cities new parts of uh the the urban area so yes very handy tool um don't know if it's quite hollywood standard you know but um hopefully let's see what they bring out in city traffic 3 thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed stay tuned for kvtv for more tutorials and interesting shows about trinidad the caribbean and stuff hopefully an irish guy we have a truck on the road Miss Anya a young chief. How are you? And I know you can't afford that weave. So which man buy that weave for you? No, no man, no man. Yeah, this. <laughs> it's odd. I said, wind up your bumper. Oh, fuck. And say, hey, hey. Look, they're preparing a juvenile banana legacy costume in my hand. And the big chuck, you know, brown, 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 brown. One, two, three. Balance! They train out the big with big time. Where are you from? Australia. Uh, Omaha, Nebraska.